Have you ever heard that your net worth is in direct correlation to your network? I've always heard that as I was learning about success and climbing the ladder to the next level. And I found that along the way, some of that was actually wrong. And so today's video is why your net worth is correlated to your network is wrong unless you do these three things that I'm about to share with you. My name's Joe Moffa with Master Life by Design and today I'm excited to jump in with you guys. It's been a little bit since I made a video. In fact, I think about a week now and I'm off my game. So gotta get back into it. But um, real quick before we jump in, for those of you that know, I, I, I love talking about investing even though this is an investing ch channel. This is for high performing entrepreneurs. Bitcoin is back up and I'm telling you things are looking good at this point. So if you invest, you may want to keep an eye on that. If you haven't invested and want to invest, you may want to take a look at how to do so and also how to stake your coin so you can earn money. And you can look at some of the options in the link uh, description below. So, all right, let's jump in. Let's find out why this video talks about your net worth being correlated to your network is directly, I don't want to say directly, but it's, it's not accurate, right? And so he, there's three things you must do. First and foremost, you have to learn how to add value to your network. See, as I've grown up in the network marketing industry and got around a lot of successful people, one of the things that I found was it wasn't just enough to be around them, right? Because what happens is we think, oh, just because we're around them, we're going to be successful. And I found that not to be true. But most people preach that. And so what I'm here to share is you have to learn that these successful people, how can you add value to them? Because if you don't add value, they're not, wanna, they're not going to want to have you around. Like you're just someone else that's anchoring them down. Not in a bad way, it's just that you're not providing value for them. All high performing entrepreneurs who are successful, they wanna know like, hey, how can how can I go to that next level? Who's willing to help me? Not from a, some people from a you know selfish manner, but others, when they join a mastermind, they wanna make sure that they're providing value to other people. But if you're not providing value to them, they don't feel like it's a fair energetic exchange. And I know that we're supposed to not come from this position of trading in life, but to give. And while that's true, you got to say, how can I come from the place of giving? I, I might not have the business that they have. I might not have the income they have, the car, the house, the family. I might not have that. But what do you have that could add massive value to that? Here's another way of looking at it. What are the problems that they're experiencing? You might sit there and say, Joe, well, they're worth $100 million. There, there are no problems. I'm telling you, there are problems that they have in their life because at every new level, there's a new devil. The higher you climb, the more challenges that come, right? I like to think of, you know, the word massive action plan. People want to have a massive action plan. Well, I talk about more or less, I like that acronym to be more achievable problems or more attainable problems, right? Because the higher you go, the more problems that you have, but they're all attainable. They're all achievable. You're over, to, you're able to overcome them. What value are you adding to them? Because they have something in their life. You just got to figure that out. So if you want to go to that next level, you've got to find how can you add value to them? Number two um, is depth. You have to make sure that you add depth to your network. What do I mean by that? Well, not only are you providing value, but who are you providing value to? Are you providing value to you know a hundred people? right, that are successful or in the area or level of what you want to become, if you're doing that, you're going to spread yourself way too thin. You got to make sure that you're going to actually create depth in those relationships. Most people try to go wide. Let me talk to this person, this person, this person. It's great to do that. But as you identify, I got to add value to people, you're going to have to spend some time. You're going to have to get to know that you're going to have to add value to them. So you got to make sure that you have depth in your relationships with people. Otherwise, no one's going to want to have you around. You're just going to be that guy that emails them, texts them, you know, Facebook message them or, you know, whatever means of communication. And they're going to be like, why is this person? I, I, I talked to him, you know, six months ago and now they're trying to reach back out and, 
you know, they're asking for help and it's like, what do, what value do I get from that, right? And so why am I gonna give up my time to add value to you when you're not providing value to me? See, the ones that are successful, they're looking to continue to climb. Yeah, they wanna provide value, but are you providing value first? You have to provide value first, otherwise they're not gonna to wanna to turn around and help you. But you also have to determine who are those select group of people in your network that you're gonna create depth with. Without that depth, without that relationship, you know, growing and nurturing it, you're not gonna be successful. Your net worth isn't gonna increase. Right, so you gotta make sure that you're adding depth and not going so wide. I remember in network marketing, they said, go wide, the wider you go, the more profitability you are, but the deeper you go, the more depth in the relationships you have, the more stability that you have. If you want stability in your net worth, through your network, you gotta make sure you have depth, okay? That's number two. And number three, <clears throat> is when you're around these people who are more successful to you than you, who have the level of success that you want, you have to start changing the way you think, your interm, internal thermostat. Because no one's gonna wanna be around someone who's in a limited mindset. They wanna be around people who have a growth mindset, who are constantly resetting the thermostat, right? So if you're in a financial setting where you know, you're around people who are worth $100 million, but you're only worth $100,000, you gotta start thinking, you gotta start acting, you gotta change your mindset of someone who's worth $100 million. Well, you might sit there and say, well, Joe, how do I do that? Well, that's simple, you get around, you get a coach, right? You, you hire myself, or one of our master coaches with Master Life by Design, and we start to shift those thinking, the belief systems, the thresholds in which you operate in, we expand that uh, thinking for you. But with that being said, that's what you need to do. You gotta start looking at expanding your thinking, expanding your thermostat. You can't make decisions like someone who's worth $100,000 because the multi-millionaire who's worth $100 million, well, they make different decisions than people who only have $100,000 net worth. You gotta start making those decisions. Like one, multi, multi-millionaires that I know, that I coach, they're constantly investing in themselves. They would never go without having a coach in their life. They wanna go around, go, go without having someone that's in their field helping them go to that next level. And so you gotta think about what are they doing that I'm not and how can I do what they do even if it's on a smaller scale. What does that look like? Because when you do that and you start expanding your thinking, your way of being, all of a sudden, they're gonna be more attracted to you. See, I might not have $100 million, but I could get around people who are worth $100 million and expand their thinking. I can help provide solutions. I can help change the way they think. I can provide value to them and constantly be in contact with them and add, add value, not from a, hey, give me something, please, but from, hey, can, how can I create this depth in the relationship and all of a sudden, I start to get in on maybe certain deals that they have, or maybe they hire me to be able to coach them, or maybe they partner with someone that they know that would be valuable for me to help or uh, be a great partnership. So what is it for you? Because if you don't do these three things, if you don't add value to them, if you don't go deep in your relationships with them, and if you don't change the way you think in your internal thermostat in those areas that you need to shift, then you know being around these people who are more successful than you are pointless. Yeah, it might give you inspiration and it might inspire you and it might you know, make you feel good for the moment, but if this doesn't change, and if you don't go from going wide with the relationships to a handful of people and grow in depth with them, and then when you have that depth, are you adding value in that process? They're not gonna wanna be around you and none of it's gonna be for anything, right? It's just gonna be pointless and a waste of your time in theirs. So it'll be really cool to pump you up. You might do a little bit of work, but that's it. Right, nothing will truly change, at least long term. Something in the short term can change, but nothing in the long term. So if you wanna make sure that that you know, cute little saying, your net worth is in, directly, is in direct correlation to your net, or your net worth is in direct correlation to your network, then you need to do these three things. If you don't, it's pointless, right? And I've done it, I've been around at that point in my life when I was younger, 23, 24, around all these successful people, and I was like, I don't have anything to provide, and nor did I, and guess what happened to those relationships? They were about like this deep, right? And nothing came from it. Now, I can provide people that 
or in my network or that come into my network as I'm building those deep relationships, I can provide value, tools, resources, ways for them to optimize their performance because I work with a lot of high performing entrepreneurs. So I can add value to them and now there's opportunities, people are reaching out, you know, hey, are you looking to do a deal in real estate? What do you, you know, would you want to partner? And so all these opportunities are coming. Now you have to be intelligent and vet and say, does, does this align with my, my goals and my direction and my vivid vision in my life? If not, then you don't need it, but it's great that it's coming to you. So maybe you're one of those people, you're like, Joe, I, nothing's changed for me. You know, I, I want to be around these successful people. I don't know what to add. I would beg to differ. There's something that you can do or there's some way you can add value to them. You're just not thinking. That's that limited thinking, that thermostat, that limitation that you put on yourself. That's even more of a reason for you to be able to jump into coaching and help support you and breaking through those limitations. So if you're someone that's like, look, I need that support. I want to be able to get around high worth, net worth individuals. I want to go to that next level. I want to be able to add value, create depth in those relationships. How do I do that tactfully? How do I do that skillful, skillfully? Then that's why you need to jump into our coaching program here at Master Life by Design. So fill out that application in the description below. I'm telling you, the people who do, they go to that next level. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of how deep do they go and so how much success do they want to create. So with that being said, I know you guys found value in this video. So hit that uh, thumbs up button, smash that button for us. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit that little notification next to it so you can get alerts when these videos come out because I'm really wanting to be provide a lot of uh, value for all you high-performing entrepreneurs out there because I'll tell you, as you go to the next level, you make an impact on so many other people, not only your employees or people on your team and your customers and clients, but those around you, your loved ones, your family, and that is how we start changing the world, changing ourselves first. So with that, Thank you for tuning in. Look forward to having you on the next one. Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.